Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Panda family. In this video, I will be going to explain you supernetting in computer networks. And to understand supernetting, let me show you how many things that I am going to cover in this video. So first, I will be covering how many basics are there with supernetting. After that, I will explain you how we can have formation of supernetting. And that I will explain you by one practical example. So how to form supernetting step by step, I will explain you by one practical example. And then I'll explain you how supernetting is working after formation. So here I'll take one example and based on that example, I'll show you how working is happening with supernetting. And then I'll explain you how one can make mistake in formation of supernetting. That you know, I'll explain you by one practical example in which I'll show you how mistake happens in routing as if you do mistake in formation of supernetting. And then at last, I'll explain you how many rules are there with formation of supernetting. So let us start this session with basics first. So first of all, in basics, you need to understand what is the meaning of supernetting. See, supernetting that is opposite of subnetting. In subnetting, we were been bisecting large network into small network segments. While in supernetting, what we do is we combine small network segments and we form large network right so let us see how basics are there so supernetting is done to combine small network segments logically to form a large network right see supernetting minimizes the number of entries to be stored in external router which reduces the requirement of memory in routers i'll show you by practical examples that will gives you more clarity like by supernetting what we do is v reduces the number of entries to be stored inside router so how to reduce number of entries in the router that is what i'll explain you by practical example see supernetting does the faster routing at the router so here with the use of supernetting faster routing will happen that even i'll show you by practical example and with the use of supernetting we are improving efficiency of routing in computer networks so first of all, let me explain you the basic scenario in which how we can have formation of supernetting. So here now I'll explain you how formation of supernetting happens. But before that, you need to understand the scenario. See here we are having subnet S0, S1, S2, S3 up to S7. And this eight subnets that is connected with internal router. This internal router is connected with S0 via interface 0. S1 is connected via interface 1. Likewise, S7 that is connected via interface 7. S0 that is having network ID that is 208.128.0.0 slash 24. This slash 24 explains you size of mask. Likewise, ID of S1, S2, S3 up to S7 that is given over here. Now, if you observe, see here router internal router table that is given. And you should know internal router table that is given like this only in which basic format is what there will be mask first after mask there will be network IP and based on network IP it will perform routing operation like if you observe here with this network IP route will happen to interface 0 with this network IP route will happen to interface 1 right likewise with this network IP which belongs to network segment S7 it will be having route to 7 interface right so how how internal router functions see internal router functions based on mask whatever whatever input frame will come first of all it will perform masking operation once it performs masking operation what it does is it will find what is the network ip once it identifies network ip based on that it will perform route operation as if network ip is this then route will happen to s1 over here right now see here along with internal router we are having external router this external router will route frame to internal router and that is happening via interface 8 so if you observe with external router also all the entries are there if you observe with external router also all the entries are there like with s0 s1 s2 s3 s4 whatever ips are there that is stored in external router even but if you practically observe with this external router we just have one link only now to route it to one link why should we have that many entries 
and to reduce that many entries we need to have formation of supernetting so in formation of supernetting what we will be doing is we will be forming one logical network instead of this different seven networks right so based on that what we can do is we can we can have only one entry over here at external router see at internal router we must have we we should be having all these entries right but with external router why should we have that many entries over here and to reduce those many entries we need to have formation of supernetting let me show you how to have it so here see i am taking all the ips right in sequence you see all the ips which are there with s0 s1 s2 s3 s7 all the ips that i am taking in sequence over here right that is 208.128.0.0 slash 24 this is the size of mask and that i have represented over here in terms of binary so all the entries that i have converted into binary over here now how to form supernetting so for that you will have to see how many bits are staying constant over here vertically and if you observe you will have to go in this direction you will have to go in this direction and you will have to check how many bits are changing so if you observe all these bits are constant from here onwards from here onwards bits are changing right if you observe up to this all the bits are constant so here what we need to do is here we need to we need to provide supernet mask over here so what is supernet mask you see supernet mask over here that will be one over here and for the bits which are changing from here onwards for that we need to provide supernet mask bit that is equals to zero so here once you provide supernet mask is equals to one over here what will happen it will gives you network ip now if you mask it by bit one what will happen you see this will remain as it is what is this that is 208 so let me note it down see this is 208 if you mask this with bit 1 then it will be this only that is 128 so that will be 128 now if you mask this 5 bits with 1 then these are zeros and after that you see this 3 bits that you need to mask it with bit 0 so this will become all 0 over here so this will be 0 now dot you if you mask these bits with 0 that will gives you 0 so this is what your network ip of supernet this is what your network ip of supernet and with this how many bits are having mask is equals to 1 if you observe 8 plus 8 plus this 5 means 21 so you can say now new mask is there which is having size of 21 bits and this is your network ip for supernet so that is how simply we can calculate it see what you need to do is you will have to see how those ips are there with subnets you see these are the subnets right s0 to s7 so all the ips that should be there in sequence first condition is this that should be there in sequence so you just write down that in sequence and then you'll have to see how many bits are changing so here i'm just writing it but you can understand based on this number even 208 that stays common 128 that stays common so for 0 to 7 only bits will change right and based on that how many bits are changing that will be provided with supernet mask is equals to 0 and the bits which are constant right from here onwards the bits which are constant that should be provided with supernet supernet mask is equals to 1 and based on that you can have network ip right now once you have network ip how it is working let me explain you so see now this is what supernet mask so what i'll be doing is now i'll be storing that supernet mask in external router you see previously what we were been doing you see previously we were been storing that many entries right now after supernetting now we just need to have one entry only and as you just need to have one entry you are saving memory of router as well as your efficiency of routing will improve how the reason is instead of checking for eight entries now you just have to check for once so speed will increase as well as memory will reduce in the router right let me show you how external router will perform routing over here so let us consider one case 
let us consider one case in which from somewhere this external router is receiving one frame and this frame that is having destination id that is this now as if this is the destination id then how frame will be routed over here so for that for that we just need to provide masking now masking will happen with 21 bits so you see what will happen see now i'm writing this destination id that is having ip and you see first octave that is 208 mass size is 21 so i'm writing 208 only this is first 8 bits second 8 bits that is 128 i'm writing as it is why the reason is mass size that is 21 now as mass size that is 21 next 8 bit that i need to represent next 8 bit that i need to represent in terms of binary so this is 7 so 7 in binary will be 0 0 0 0 0 1 1 1 right and then you see as per network ip that is having last octave that is 0 all you need to do is you need to you don't need to write 125 in binary i'll show you why you don't need to find that right i'm writing 125 here so now i'll be performing masking as per 21 bits so here i'll be performing mask over here with 21 bits so first first 8 bits as per mask if it is all ones you see mask is having all ones up to 21 bits so if it is having first 8 bits that is all ones then that will be 255 second 8 bits that should be also 255 now how many how many bits are there with mask 21 so 8 plus 8 16 have been covered now only 5 ones are required so 1 1 1 1 1 and then all zeros are there so this is 0 0 and here 8 zeros that will be 0 now if you perform logical and over here if you perform logical and over here then what will happen you see all ones me with 208 that will give you 208 only so this will be 208 this all ones mean one well, with 128 that will give you 128 only now you see this five zeros with this ones that will give you zero and this three ones with three zero that will give you zero so this is zero and 125 with zero anything and with zero will be zero so this will be zero so this is my network ip this is my network ip after supernet mask after supernet mask so if you observe the table if you observe the table you see after mask if network ip is this it will route to interface 8 so it will forward this frame so it will forward this frame it will forward this frame over here like this right it will forward this frame over here like this right so this is how this is how working is happening with supernet now very interesting part that i'm going to explain you which explains you how mistake can happen while you form supernet so here i'll be considering one example and that example that i'm taking the reason is i just want to show you how mistake can happen in formation of supernet right so as i have told you how to form supernet we just need to see how many bits are constant right so if you if you see in this direction if you see in this direction then what will happen you see these bits are constant up to this up to this bits are constant right so what we need to do we need to provide we need to provide supernet mask supernet mask with bit 1 with this many bits and with this bits with this bits we need to provide supernet mask as bit 0 right so what will happen you will be having supernet id right so what is this supernet id you see see these bits are constant right that is 208 only so here i am saying supernet id that will be having first octave that is 208 only second octave that is 128 only now next octave in that you see four ones are there after that all zeros will be there as per supernet mask is zero so 41 means 240 so this will be 240 then these are all zeros so that will be also zero and how many bits with which we are providing supernet mask here you see 8 plus 8 plus 4 
so that is 20 so i am saying now my new mask that is having size of 20 so slash 20 that i am writing so this is my supernet id with supernet mask 20 now here there is a mistake right so first of all let me show you how mistake is happening so here see what i am doing is i am providing external router with this supernet id that is this with mask 20 right with mask 20 so that supernet id that i am taking with mask 20 right and if this ip comes then route route should happen to this address right now see what i am doing is i am i am taking one frame you see i am taking one frame some from somewhere and let us say that frame that frame is having id that frame is having id that is this right now as if this frame is having id that is this then if you observe this frame that belongs to which network if you observe 208.128.241.125 right so 241.125 so 241 right so this 241 that is this network so this frame that should go to this network but because of we have done some mistake i'll show you what is that mistake but because of we have done some mistake what will happen you see this frame this frame that will not come here it will go over here how you see see i'm just taking this destination id right so this destination ip and with that we will be performing mask as per 20 bits so what i'll be doing is this first 8 bit that will be 208 next 8 bit that is 128 so in total 8 bits are here so now 241 that i am converting into binary so 241 means 11110001 and then i am writing dot 125 i am writing dot 125 now see what will happen here we are having mask of 20 bits so here i am masking with 20 bits so first 8 bits that will be 255 next 8 bits that will be 255 now i'm masking with how many bits i'm masking with uh, 4 bits 8 plus 8 plus 4 so that will be 20 right so i am taking uh, 1 1 1 1 so in total now we are having 20 bits and then rest bits should be zero right so here after performing masking after performing masking what will happen you see 255 with 208 that will gives you 208 255 with 128 that will gives you 128 see this 1 1 1 1 1 1 that will gives you 4 1s over here and this will be 4 zeros and 0 with 125 that will be 0 so if you observe this what is this ip 208.128 then 4 1s and 4 zeros that is 240.0 right so this is my network ip network ip after masking now if you observe here see this external router that will be masking first after masking it will be observing what is ip now if you observe this ip is 240 and as per this ip is 240 this frame this frame that will go in this direction practically it should go in this direction but it is going in this direction so this is where mistake is there right this is where you are having mistake now let me explain you how mistake is there so for that first i need to explain you how many rules are there with supernetting so first rule that explains you see smallest address must be divisible by mask that is slash n smallest address that must be divisible by mask that is slash n after obtained supernetting let me show you what have happened when we have formed the this supernet id right so if you observe see smallest id smallest id that is this now if you observe this this mask is slash 20 now slash 20 means what we are dividing this smallest ip of that formation with oblique 20 if you divide that then if you observe in this direction 
if all zeros are there then it is possible like you can divide it but in this direction all zeros are not there and as all zeros are not there you cannot divide it see it is very difficult to explain you like how exactly division happens over here in short time but remember when you do binary division then if i say like you want to divide uh, if you want if i say you want to divide 1 1 1 1 then 0 0 right with 4 with 4 4 means 1 0 0 so you can divide 1 0 0 with this why the reason is after 1 0 0 after 1 0 0 zeros are there so here when you want to divide by 20 bits so these are the 20 bits after 20 bits if something is there then you cannot divide it right so you will have to see what is the lowest ip of that supernetting and that lowest ip that should be divisible by supernet mask here it is not happening right that's why that's why you have been observing false routing was happening right so now see second rule that is quite simple ips should be there in sequence and number of network blocks must be there in power of 2 so when you when you combine when you combine subnets at the time those number of subnets or you can say number of network blocks that should be there in power of 2 here see we were been following that rules like we were been having eight blocks right till there was error why the reason is it was not divisible by lowest ip of subnet you see 20 that is the size and after 20 bits if something is there over here right then it is not divisible right so that is what the issue that was there so whenever you form supernet at a time three basic rules are there right once you have supernet mask that mask should be divisible by lowest ip of subnet and number of subnets that should be there in power of two right and those ips of subnets that should be there in sequence right so that is how rules are there still if anything that would like to share it with me please note it down in comment section i'll be happy to help you thank you so much for watching this video